Kathambai, how would you respond to your critics who say that your rise and your meteoric rise was because of Prime Minister Narendra Modi? See, Prime Minister Modi and myself, both are coming from state of Gujarat. And that makes, makes me the easy target of a such baseless allegations. When I look back at my entrepreneurial journey, I can divide it into a four phases. Many will be surprised to know that it all began during the tenure of Sri Rajiv Gandhi as a Prime Minister. When he first liberalized the exim policy and for the first time several items were brought in the open general license list. That is what helped me to start my export house. But for Rajiv Gandhi, my journey as an entrepreneur would never have taken off. The second big push I got was in 1991 when the duo of Prime Minister Nasir Ji and the Finance Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh Ji initiated sweeping economic reforms. Just like many other entrepreneurs, I too was a beneficiary of those reforms. There is no point in further elaborating on it because so much has been said and written about it. The third turning point for me came in 1995 when Kesube Patel was sworn in as a Gujarat Chief Minister. Until then, all industrial development in Gujarat was only around National Highway 8 from Mumbai to Delhi via cities like Wapi, Ankleswar, Paruj, Silvaza, Vadodara, Surat and Ahmedabad. He was a visionary and a focused on a coastal development. And it was that policy change that took me to Mundra and prompted me to build our first port. The rest, as they say, is history. The fourth turning point was in 2001 when a Gujarat witnessed a massive focus on development under Chief Minister Narendra Modi ji. His policies and their implementations went on to not only change the economic landscape, landscape of the state, but it also brought social transformations and development of previously underdeveloped areas. It also allowed industries and employment to take off like never before. Today, under his able leadership, we are seeing a similar resurgent at the national and international levels, where a new India is now asserting itself. It is unfortunate 
that such narratives are being pushed against me. As I explained, these allegations are baseless and suffer from a recency bias, seeing our group success through a short-term lens. The fact of the matter is that my professional success is not because of any individual leader, but because of the policy and institutional reforms.